Hey everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com with another nursery rhyme. A new one comes out every other Monday. Today it's Ba Ba Black Sheep. And this one's really similar to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's pretty much the exact same chords. The only difference is in the melody. If you need any help following along with this lesson, there's a printable chord chart on my Patreon page that has everything, the counting, the chords, the lyrics, the melody, all of it is written out there. You can print that out and follow along with this lesson and learn the song, you know, having everything laid out in front of you. There's also a kid's songbook with 24 kids songs in two keys each. And if along the way you find that you need some extra help with the mechanics, you know, with the switching chord shapes and the strumming. I have a free ebook. It's completely free for all my subscribers that goes over all the fundamentals of rhythm guitar. And I also have one for lead guitar and you'll get both of those completely free. There's a link down below. So I recommend checking those out if you need any help with the fundamentals of guitar. And also you can always ask me in the comments down below if you have any specific questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. Otherwise, we're going to get started with the chord shapes. First, we have D. Then there's a G chord. And A. If you're already comfortable with those chord shapes, I'll put a timestamp in the corner so you can skip ahead to the next section. Otherwise, we're going to take a bit of a closer look. When we're going from D to G, we can pivot off of our ring finger. So I can just leave that finger down. And I recommend just silently switching, you know, getting used to it, maybe looking away from the guitar, you know, and just practicing that. And then when we're switching from D to A, there's also a trick for that. We I'm just going to lift up those two fingers, leave my ring finger down, slide it to the second fret, and then I can complete my A shape. And then I just slide it back up to go back. So that's another one where you would just silently go through the motions, and then you could add in some strums, you know, just to make sure that you're getting them nice and clear. And if you need any extra help with that stuff, I have a complete beginner's course that goes over all the fundamentals. You know, it takes you from absolute beginner to confident strummer. I'll put a link down below for that as well. Anyways, next, we're going to try these chord shapes using downstrokes only and counting them out just so we can get the chords in the right order and play each of them for the right amount of time. Starting off on D, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Bye. So make sure you can do it just like that, downstrokes only, counting along, or even singing the words. You know, this is a really good opportunity to start doing that since we're not really adding any rhythm yet, and that way you can get the chords and the singing together. Either way, next we're going to learn the strumming pattern, which goes like this. And that's just down, down, up. You know, we play a downstroke on beat one and a down up on beat two, and we would do that one time per chord shape. So I want you to just count out loud. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You know, playing a down on beat one and a down up on beat two. If you need to, you can break down the counting. One and two and. The down strokes are on the numbers. One and then the up strokes are ands. And. One and two and. One, and, two, and. And I'm just strumming with my fingers here. I'm just pretending that I'm holding a pick. You know, I just have my fingers like that. And that works really well. You could do it with your open hands like that. You could strum with your thumb if you want a bit of a deeper tone. Or use a pick, whatever's comfortable for you. I used a pick in a few of these nursery rhyme tutorials, and now I decided, hey, why don't I use my hand just because 
some people like to play that way too. You know, it's not no big deal. Whatever you like to do. Anyways, we have the chords, we have the strumming. Now let's put them together. We're going to do our strumming pattern one time per chord shape. You'll see that up above. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags, four. One for the master and one for the day. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes. Sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. All right, so that's the chords and strumming. And later in this tutorial, I have a backing track, a full instrumental backing track that you can practice along to. It's a little bit quicker than what we just did. So rewind the tape here and practice this as many times as you need to. And then when you want to test your skills, you can practice with that backing track. And at that point, you'll be super solid with the chords and strumming. Anyways, next we're going to learn the melody. We're going to break it down into phrases. The first part goes like this. We start off on the open D string. Open, open. And then I'm going to put my first finger on the second fret of the G string. So just work on that part. Ba, ba, black sheep. And then we're going to go on the B string. We're going to go O, two, three, O. So I'm using my first finger to play the second fret and my middle finger for the third fret. O, two, three, O. And then I finish on the second fret of G. So just practice that little snippet. You could even sing the words. Have you any wool? And then we add our first couple notes to that. Three, four. Ba, ba, black sheep. Have you any wool? And then we go on the open G string. Yes, sir. So it's two times. Then the fourth fret of the D string. I'm going to play this with my ring finger. Yes, sir. And then the second fret of the D string, two bags, and then open, full. So the notes there are the open G string, and then on the D string, four, two, oh. But we play them a couple times each. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags, full. So practice that bit, and then we can back up and play the entire first phrase. One, two, three, four. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. The next phrase goes like this. So it's just four notes, but we're playing a few of them a few times. Starting off on the second fret of the G string, and then the open G string, then the fourth fret of the D string, and then the second fret of the D string. So our notes are on the G string, two, O, oh, and then on the D string, four, two, but we play them with a particular rhythm. One for the master, one for the day. And you can see that all up above. So pause the tape, try that out, and then we can play it together. Three, four. The next phrase goes like this. So we start off on the G string, O, two, 
and then we play the open B string and the open G string. And that actually sounds like another kid's song, like, where is Thumpkin? You know, I know like a million of these, right? I have a two-year-old and a newborn. Anyways, just get that part. You know, do it at your own pace. And then on the D string, four, two, two, O. Oh. So that's not too bad, just four, two, two, O. Oh. And when you're ready, we put that all together nice and slow. And two, and three and four and adding those first couple notes before it three four and the final line of the melody is exactly the same as the first one so we've already practiced that So at this point, I want you to review everything, make sure you can play, break it all down and play it phrase by phrase, a little bit at a time. And when you're ready, we'll do it together nice and slow. One and two and three and four and one. So some parts of that are painfully slow and then it goes really fast, you know? So that's why we had to play it so slowly. Now, if you wanna play it at a more regular pace, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right now. I have an instrumental backing track and you're gonna see the chords and lyrics. You're also gonna see the melody, everything flying across the screen. And that way you can practice the chords and strumming and the melody, whatever you like. And you can go through this as many times as you need to at a decent pace. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. All right, so that's how you play Ba Ba Black Sheep. If you need any extra help, don't forget about that worksheet on my Patreon page that you can print out. It has everything, all the diagrams and everything from this lesson are all on there in a well-organized format. There's also that kids songbook that has 24 children's songs and nursery rhymes. There's my free ebook, one for rhythm and one for lead guitar, completely free that you can download. Link for that down below. Also down below, you'll find a link to my complete beginners course. If you want to go from complete beginner to confident strummer, it'll guide you through the entire process. You'll learn all the basic chord shapes, all the most common strumming patterns, and you'll learn songs along the way. 
that's all down there. Don't forget to ask in the comments down below if you have any questions. Like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.